you don't know how to deal with a DSP controller, CNC Urgent Ed is here. Hello, my name is David, this is Virme, and today I'm gonna tell you how to work with a DSP controller and what all of those buttons are here for. Check your subscription and let's get it started. So, this type of controller is appropriate for all Watson machines. It enables you to control equipment and load data via USB without requiring a PC. One of its most significant benefits over a PC or a control desk is the ability to save information, even when the power goes off. For a start, though, we need to connect it to the CNC router. By the way, we can provide this service when you're buying equipment if you ask us to. However, we are not going to cover this topic today. That's a separate video. Write in the comments below if you want to see this moment explained. What does this button do? On the front side, there are 16 buttons and a slot for a flash drive. Firstly, let's go through the functions of each of those when pressed simultaneously. These six buttons are used for the movement of the axis. These two for the X axis. These two for the Y axis. and these two for the Z-X. In the version Reach Auto A18, the buttons 4 and 8 allow you to control the rotary device. But if you press at the same time the button on-off and the button 4, you will give the point 0 to axis X and Y. If you combine the button on off and the button 8, you will get to a menu and you will be able to set the zero point for the Z axis and the rotary device. To scroll into the menu, you can use the buttons X plus and X minus. In the version Reach Out A11, the buttons 4 and 8 will allow you just to set the zero point for all axes. To return the CNC router to the origin position by all of the axes, you have to press the origin button twice. Also, origin is used for chosen operation confirmation. High low is responsible for the manual control over speed. Switch between the high and low ones. On off is quite simple. It turns on or off the spindle. And the bottom menu obviously opens up the menu window. Using mode, you can manually switch between types of milling operations. Step. Processing by step via 0.5 mm in high mode or 0.1 mm in low. Distance, movement to the set distance. Continuous, the machine moves while you're pressing the button. Run, pause, delete. Here you might start and pause the work and also delete unnecessary symbols during an entry. Stop, cancel allows stopping the process. Button combination. All of those buttons have more functions when pressed together. To do so, first push the functional button followed by the supplementary one. Then release both of them. We will name the functional first. Origin plus menu launches the system restart. To start the spindle and increase or decrease its rotation speed, you need to press on off and Z plus and Z minus after that. If automatic tool setting on the Z minus axis is required, press menu plus on off. These are the main combinations that you might need. There are others, however, you'll face the need for them during the process and can find them in the controller manual. Settings. Let's try to use a controller to set the CNC router machine. Push the menu button and choose Machine Setup. There will be 11 sub-menus. Right now, we will need only 6 of them. Table Size. The program will automatically set the X axis to refer to. Let's set the right number according to our model. We have here a Watson M1313. So, we need to enter 1300 mm and click Origin OK as confirmation. Spindle setup. Here are going to be two more submenus where you can determine the spindle startup time after the project file is inserted. Aka spindle delay and rotation speed. 
Home Setup. Here you can set the return to home position speed. By default they are equal. The X and Y axis are 3000 mm a minute and the Z axis is 1800 mm a minute. You can also set the order for returning to the original position along the axis and their polarity here. Axel. This parameter helps the machine to create straight lines or curves with high accuracy. By default, it's going to be 800 mm a second. Start speed. In this submenu, the starting speed is settled. Usually, it equals 100,000 mm a minute. Max speed limit. From the name, it's clear that here you are defining the speed limitation. Now, let's exit the machine setup and take a look inside Auto Pro Setup. In it, there is everything you might need for the milling process itself. Working speed, spindle Z axis heights for idle movement, G code setup, and other setups, which you are going to determine while planning a real task. If you have any question about working with a DSP, feel free to ask them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And if you own a Watson machine, you always have access to online support from our engineers. My name is David and this is Virmer. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next videos. See you!